I'm Jessica Meir. I'm a graduate student at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, working with Paul Panganis. And right now, we are in McMurdo Station in the Antarctic, where we are working with emperor penguins and setting up what is called the Penguin Ranch. We study the diving physiology of emperor penguins. And my name is Cassandra Williams. I'm also a graduate student at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Um, I'm also a student of, of Paul Panganis's. And this year at Penguin Ranch, we'll be doing a lot of work for my thesis. We'll be looking at muscle oxygen depletion in diving penguins. Cape Crozier is the southernmost of the seven emperor penguin colonies in the Ross Sea. And prior to 2001, the population was about 2,500 adult emperor penguins and about 1,200 chicks. In 2001, an iceberg the size of Delaware, which was called B-15, blocked access to the ocean for the birds, so unfortunately the colony was devastated in 2001. There were no living adults or chicks that year. The good thing is that in the years since, the colony has rebounded and the population is starting to grow again. There were even a few hundred birds in 2002, the year after the colony was devastated. Well, we go to Cape Crozier every year to do a census on, on land, or on ice in this case. So this year we flew on a helicopter and landed a bit away from the colony so we wouldn't be too close to them to disturb them with a the helicopter. And we hiked down to the colony and did a visual census, got an idea of how many adults there were, which was about 600 to 700 adult penguins. And then Paul, our advisor, also took pictures to do a census later, but using photographs so we can get a more accurate count then. The colony looked great. The adults were there. Um, we didn't see any dead chicks. Uh, the colony looked pretty healthy. A high survival rate so far, so they looked like they were doing well and happy. Yeah, certainly very promising. And we're hoping for a continued recovery.